What's up guys, Joe Simpson here. I wanted to show you something I've been playing with this weekend. So over the last couple of days, I received a couple of molds that have been on order from eBay for like forever. The molds finally came in. I went out on the deck this weekend and I poured some stuff. So I had a focus of two things this weekend. I wanted to pour some creature baits and I wanted to also get some trailers for my chatter baits. So anyway, I wanted to show these to you up close. I wanted to show you these trailers on the baits themselves. They're really cool. So this is the uh, trailer that's on my first chatter bait. This is the sprayed grass uh, color chatter bait from uh, Jackhammer from Z-Man. And it's a really good looking linked kind of bait. It's kind of like a razor shad, uh, really nice looking addition to that chatter bait. I poured these in several different colors. So you can see here, this is kind of a blackish purple midnight color I have on this uh, fire craw. It's really nice. There's a lot of movement in these baits and I think they're gonna do awesome when they're in the water. You can see that just a lot of flexibility uh, in the way that they move. So this next color is really cool. I uh, have like a orange, bright orange color that I can add to the Plastisol. And I thought it would give it more of a constant color but it gave it more of a translucent look. It looks pretty sweet though. Yeah, look at that bad boy. You can see right through it. Now I pulled the tail off earlier because I was messing around with it. Um, but the nice thing about pouring your own baits is you can just keep pouring more and more. So this one's going to look really great swimming through the water. This is going to be my creature bait, but I went ahead and snipped it in half and put it on as a trailer for one of my chatter baits. And I think it looks great. Uh, Pat's really excited to throw these guys. Check that out. That is awesome. Look at these legs, how they're dangling. This thing's just a straight up like creature cross style bait. It looks awesome awesome this is going to be killer moving through the water on this chatterbait i mean i couldn't ask for a better look so here's what the razor shad um, looking poured baits look like up close really nice i think they're going to be kicking they'll work good just as a straight up swim bait um, a really good look. The tail's really loose, so it's going to get a lot of action, a lot of motion out of that tail. Of course, I'm going to be pouring these in different colors so I can get any, any range of color from uh, a pumpkin to a baby bass to a black midnight. So I just kind of have this mutant green color that I had from extra plastisol parts and pieces of worms that I had laying around. And then the uh, purple midnight worm is like a variation of the original strawberry i started with like orange and i added some red strawberry color then i added some uh chartreuse and then i added a little bit of purple and then a little bit of black and i ended up with this black color that i think looks really sweet so let me show you these two creature baits these things are awesome these are about six inches long and you can tell by the way these tails are wiggling and the way they'll move through the water these will be awesome texas rig baits so i can't wait to use these these are uh going to be really cool in the water. Pat really likes these. I gave him a few today, so he's probably going to be fishing these in the next day or so. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you and just show you some of the things I've been working on. I have some new products coming from a company and I can't wait to share all this stuff with you. I'm so excited. I have a bunch, a bunch of stuff to share with you in the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned and we'll be talking. Uh, Bassin 512, I think it was. I think it was Bassin 512. Uh, had some questions about leaders. I'm not a huge leader guy, but Pat does leaders. So we're going to do maybe a little quickie on some leader tying and stuff like that and when to use them and how to use them uh, in the next coming video, I think. So I'll talk to you guys soon. Keep coming back, smashing that like button and subscribe and bring your friends, tell your mom, your dad, everybody about my channel. Let's keep fishing. I'll talk to you guys soon. Later.